All right. Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Marathon Mondays with Mal. It's episode 99. We're coming up on our 100th episode. And Andy Ibarra and I are going to show you something real quick. Uh, as far as what we're doing this morning, we are going to show you uh, as Marathon is preparing to go down to the NADA show in San Francisco, uh, we're going to show you that uh, we are getting prepared for that. But let's walk right now. We're in the service department here at the headquarters. Hope everyone had a good weekend. How about your weekend? It was good. It was good. Man, a few words, but it's all to the good. Let's head in this way. We're going to go through. Uh, morning, Chris. He's on the phone. We're going to head through the... Um, purchasing department so if you've taken a tour at the world headquarters you've seen uh, that you've got the purchasing department and right next to purchasing is not only the parts room and and where all the parts come in but the shipping and receiving area and then out there is the main production floor and then right behind us, Andy's going to open the door, and we're going to head into the service department. And right there in front of you is, is uh, the coach that we're bringing on down to NADA. This is um, coach 1295. This is a double slide H3, and we are preparing it uh, to be under the lights of the uh, auto dealers show that's going to be in downtown San Francisco in about a week. Pretty excited for the NADA show and just wanted to be able to show you um, kind of the preparation for getting the coach ready to be under those lights. Andy, talk to us a little bit about what the guys are doing this morning while Todd uh, shows what's going on. We're well, just doing a final polish, just to make sure it looks extra good for the show. Good deal. Um, that's just doing polish of the foam pad and then Zerna 3000 on it. Very nice. Now, as far as let's say someone is a has a pre-owned marathon and they are in here at the world headquarters in Coburg, this is a service that you provide. Is that correct? Correct. So if you have a pre-owned marathon, if you've got a new one, you don't necessarily need this service. But if you've got a pre-owned marathon, this is a service that because the paint department is here at the headquarters, we provide it here in Coburg. Right. Now I'm sure we're going to get a lot of comments and questions about the process. A lot of comments and questions about what products we use. We're not going to get into all of that um, because there's a lot. A lot of times it comes down to just personal preference. Um, but our department uses specific um, tools, very specific uh, materials and equipment. But if you are in the Coburg area and you have a coach that uh, you feel needs to be polished. It is a service that we do here, uh, and one of the benefits of having it done here is that our actual paint team works on it. Is that correct? Yep. So the guys that actually work on the paint jobs are the ones that are doing the polishing so they know exactly what they're doing and you know, to do it the right way. Yeah. They know how much material is on there, and they know how much to polish and how much not to polish. We've all seen uh, polish jobs go wrong. If you have. So if you're gonna get if you're gonna get your coach polished, everybody make sure that it's done right. Let's walk around the coach real quick and, and talk about it. So one thing I asked you before we went live that I wanted to point out, how long does it uh, how long does it take to polish the exterior of a 45 foot Prevo chassis? If it's in decent condition it'll take you probably three guys eight hours if it's pretty rough probably like three days two days it gotcha. depends on how uh, bad the clear coat is okay okay if you run through a car wash of the truck stop right you're gonna be in trouble yeah now this being a newer coach it's not gonna take as long no it should be done by the end of the day gotcha now this coach is headed down to San Francisco so it's gonna look fantastic on I-5 so if you guys see it up on the road and you're out there, 
I know you Prevo owners are out there on the road right now, so if you see it, uh, let us know. Send me a message. Uh, sure, sure looks good already. I know you guys aren't even done. Mickey, any comments or questions while we're uh, hanging out here? This is kind of going to kind of be a short uh, episode 99 here, but just wanted to show the preparation of it. We have John who says hello from Desert Hot Springs, California, just west of India, and he hopes to see you there. Oh, John, hey, thanks for watching the show. And then we have um, Josh who finally is making it to his first Mondays with Mal live. Excellent. He says hello from Waterloo. Welcome, welcome uh, to Marathon Mondays, uh, episode 99. Don't forget to go back and watch other episodes. You can see Andy several times on these other episodes. <laughs> and then you have greetings from all over North America. Good deal. Well, thank you everyone for watching. Uh, one of the exciting things is that uh, Marathon as a company does a really good job of taking our product out in the public to show the benefits of it, show, uh, the expertise that goes into building this. And Andy, from a paint standpoint, um, you know, a lot of people talk about how many, how many coats of paint, how many coats of clear, it's how many gallons goes into it. It's not really about that, is it? It's about uh, techniques and expertise, isn't it? Yeah, it's a little bit of both as well. You can put 15 gallons of clear and still not look great. Right, right. You have a really experienced team. Approximately how many guys are on the paint team here at World Headquarters? There's 18 of us. 18? Yep. Wow. That's, that's pretty impressive. Um, you know, from yes, Mickey? We have a really great question. Sure. So if we come in for a polish, do we need to make hotel arrangements, or can we still be in our coach? Okay, so there's a good question, and, and because Andy's here with us, we can get to that right now. The question is, uh, if someone brings their coach in for a polish or for a detail uh, in through our service department, do they need to stay in a hotel or can they stay in their coach? Now, as far as detailing, is that something that you do during the day? Yes, the uh, service does that during the day, but I think it would be best if they get a room at least for one night. Sure. And is that, be, is that so that the coach can stay indoors? Yep. Got wash it. and put it indoors so the next day we can uh, go outside and start buffing on it and polishing and while we polish they uh, do the detail inside. Absolutely. If you're headed in to our service department and you need help finding a room, whether it be a $60 room or a $300 room, we've got it all here in Eugene. Mal W at MarathonCoach.com, I can help you, uh, lead you down the right path of what hotel to stay at and what hotels not to stay at when coming to the world headquarters. Uh, bottom line is this, because you want, you want the coach to be inside for that, for that one day, most likely, they'll need to get a room. Right. But our service department does a really good job of getting the coach out to them at night so they can stay in it. So for the most part, when, you're, when you have service uh, performed here at the world headquarters or at the other locations, you will be able to stay the night in your coach while uh, the service team works on it during the day. So good question. Thank you for uh, posing that question. And like I said, if you need help with accommodations when at uh, the headquarters here where we build all the marathons, feel free to reach out to me and I can give you some suggestions. Uh, before we get out of here, should we walk around to the other side and uh, really test Todd's Wi-Fi? <laughs> Well, we've got, we've got the gear up here, so we really can't walk around the back, and I don't want to disturb it because the guys are on break right now. Now, one question that was just posed by uh, James Morris, I'm going, I'm going to not go too far into detail, Andy, but uh, repainting a pre-owned marathon is something that your department does a lot. Yeah. So reimagining a paint job is really a fun process. We've profiled it a few times here on Marathon Mondays throughout our, our time of doing this show. Uh, you know, purchasing a pre-owned coach and then repainting it, that's a really good way to reimagine the exterior. Pete Sutton 
it works with you to uh, basically, you can change it completely or you can alter it just a little bit. Um, what, what's been your experience in repainting pre-owned coaches? If it's painted by our, by our team here, yes. uh, we just basically, you know, take it all down with 80 grit, prime it, and um, go from there. If it's been painted elsewhere, we like to take it all the way down to, to, the, to the primer. Yeah. Gotcha. So it's, it's definitely something that someone can do if they purchase a pre-owned coach, yeah. uh, whether it be from Marathon or some, some other location, uh, they can bring it to the world headquarters here and have your team repaint it through right. our service department. That's correct. That's great. Good question, James. I appreciate that question. Um, gosh, this is pretty too. Todd, take a look at the detail on this. That's nice. All right, so I guess we're going to get out of here. Uh, Episode 99, thanks everyone for watching. Uh, Marathon Mondays is a fun thing to do, and we really appreciate uh, people like Andy who take their time out from, well, right now it's break time, uh, to talk to us, to talk to you guys about what's going on at Marathon. We bring it every Monday morning, a transparent version of uh, the best luxury R RV, the best luxury bus in the world. So that's it. Mal W at MarathonCoach.com is my email. Uh, feel free to reach out to me on any questions or, or ideas. And, uh, hey, we're headed to San Francisco, uh, so we'll see you down there. Andy, anything else before we get out of here? No, that's it. That's about it. I like it. All right, everybody, have a good Monday. I think Mickey needs some uh, caffeinated tea. I need some <laughs> coffee. Thanks, Andy. Yep. Take care, everybody.